I was at, at Amaji's ashram, the hugging mother. In December of 2000, in December of 1992, she allowed uh, a small group of us at six o'clock in the morning to go sit with her and meditate on the rooftop of one of the buildings. Now then it wasn't so big. Now it's, so, I hear that it's grown up, grown and there's thousands of people around her and I don't think you can do that anymore. I, I don't know what is going on now, but that was the case. So we're sitting there, it's like 12 of us sitting there at six in the morning or seven in the morning, something like that, and waiting for her to come to sit with us and uh, meditate and receive. And we're on the rooftop and they were doing some painting. Painters were painting some parts of the building and Amma is walking around and she's really angry and she's kicking buckets, buckets around and she's barking at these painters and she's really pissed off because they screwed up. They didn't do the things the way she wanted them to do it. Obviously she had explained to them what she wanted and they didn't do it. So she's kicking buckets all over the place. And here's the Divine Mother, and she's an enlightened being. And she was really pissed off. <laughs> as simple as that. Okay. Hey, I uh, was thinking when you were speaking, uh, what to do about it so it uh, doesn't happen ag again. Uh, <laughs> Not only handling um, uh, emotions, but uh, to uh, set something in motion that would uh, prevent right. this from happening. Right, uh, right. And, um, it, and even um, more important, to understand the reason behind it. I always try to ask uh, why something happened. and. Uh, it's often like they are invisible forces you can't uh, do anything about. It's often right, right, great, beautiful. How great. we handle in, in, in invisible forces? Right. Okay. So let's answer your questions one at a time because there's like two, three questions within one. The number one thing you said is how could I prevent it from happening? The unfortunate incident that triggers you. How can I prevent it from happening? Uh, number one is you can't. You cannot prevent it from happening. I don't care who you are and how mighty you are and how powerful you are, you cannot do that. So that's impossible. Uh, number two is that, okay, I cannot. So that comes from control, that I want to control life so life goes in my way or things that trigger me do not happen and that that's absolutely impossible okay things going to happen now why then the next question was like why is it happening to me because that's what's important because if it's happening to somebody else you wouldn't care am i right you you just you just care about what happens to you because that's your experience of life and why would you care if it's happening to someone else? Uh, it's not affecting you, so it's not uh, related. Why is it happening? There's different ways of explaining it. Number one, the way I look at it is that whatever happens to me. It's a part of my growth. It's a part of my spiritual growth. It's an area that I need to work on. It's an area I need to master, an area that if I have mastered it, then I need to demonstrate it practically that I have mastered it. And just because I have mastered something in life 
that doesn't mean spirit is not going to challenge me anymore. You're always going to be challenged by the spirit, by life, to demonstrate mastery. Have you mastered yourself? Have you mastered this art, this art of being, and this art of learning how to be still in the face of all the adversities and challenges? How you can stay in your center and not be affected by these ups and downs of life. So that is one way of explaining it, that the way I look at it is when anything's challenging me is what the spirit, God, my higher self, my guides are challenging me to demonstrate that I have mastered this or they're helping me by throwing this at me to look at myself and to master myself so I can not react to it. Or if I do react to the situation, I react from a very still and silent area, place within myself, not from an identify, identify, identified space, not getting identified with the story and reacting from there. But if there's going to be a reaction, reacting from a quiet and still place. 